Hello once again, welcome to my channel. This is Ieta Apeji and today's video I'll be showing you a little bit more about Trello Premium and we're going to be looking at the different views that you get in Trello Premium just for you to see if this is for you. So the first view that you're going to see is the board view, okay? And if you've seen my other videos, you'll see how the different ways you can set up your board to work with, depending on what you actually um, want to use the board for. So let us assume this is this is a to-do list, okay? So I'm just going to go through what each view looks like. So we have the board view, which is this view. And then the next thing, when you select that button here, you will find all the other options. So I'm going to show you each and every one of them. So the next one will be the map. So this one is for you to visualize your locations on an interactive map. So if you have locations on your board, it will show you what your locations look like. You also have the timeline. This is a great one to use if you're, it's kind of, it's similar to a Gantt chart, I would say. It kind of like shows you where you are at which point you can see what you're doing. So if you've, if you're bored, you've written out exactly what's happening, you can do that. And you can actually complete this here as well. You don't only need to complete it on the board. So all you need to do is just to, have that and then you can click on any of this and then you can schedule it. So for this one now, I'm going to schedule it and give it a time and say that and then save. And then you see that it's here on the 14th. So you can see all that here. So it shows you exactly what you're doing at any single time. And then this one is a calendar, similar to the timeline, except that the timeline shows you what's happening at different stages. So here you have the calendar and you can sync it to your personal calendar if that's what you want to do. I will recommend it so that all your information is on one calendar. And then you have the dashboard. So this is where you will find um, cards per due date. You find a lot of information on um, how you how you use that you can check all the things that have been assigned so if your board is a much bigger board and you have all your team members on it you'll be able to see those who you've assigned and everything all that information will be here and then your due dates and everything so this is the dashboard and then the last view is the workspace option the workspace table this shows you everything that is happening on the entire workspace. So you can add other boards to this, you can add all the boards, and then you can look at everything that is, um, you can see all the labels, you can see the members and the due dates, everything will be here on the workspace table. This is very, very useful. And if you decide to go for the premium, these are some of the features you will enjoy. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, next week, I'll be sharing a video showing you um, if you have like the first paid plan, which is not the premium. I can't remember what it's called right now, but if you have that, I'm going to be showing you what you get for that um, for that plan and what um, the features that you receive. So if you decide, it makes just give you clarity on which ones to choose. As you know, the premium plan is about $10 per month. Um, and uh, with taxes, you end up paying $12.50 per month per person. So if this is for you, this is some of the features you will enjoy. Thank you for watching. And please do remember to subscribe to watch, um, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and share with your friends or colleagues or anyone who you think will value this information that I'm sharing on my channel. Thank you very much for watching and God bless.